Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the routing guards in the Angular 18. So what are the different types of routing guards available in the Angular 18? So in this routing guards, so what I want to tell you is, so the routing guards plays an important role in, in the Angular thing. So that there are different types of routing guards available in the Angular. So now what I want to tell you is, so the different types of the available root guards in Angular are, first one is can activate, can activate child, can deactivate, can match, resolve and also can load. So these are the different types of routing guards that are available. So what does this routing guard do? Routing guard allows us, so I will try to explain you here. So route guards, so here, yeah. So route guard allows you to control access to different routes in your application based on certain conditions such as authentication. They are used to prevent users for, from accessing specific parts of the application if they don't meet the criteria. Example, not logged in or lacking permissions. So the different types of available route guards that are available in the Angular 18 are so what I want to tell you is, so these are the things. First one is the can activate. So it prevents the navigation to a route unless the condition is met. Can activate child, guards child routes can deactivate prevents a route from being navigating away from can match controls whether a route can be matched based on the conditions resolve preloads the data before the route is activated can load prevents the entire lazy loaded module from loading so that is the entire concept so let's try to understand one by one about this routing guard in this video we will try to focus on the first one that is nothing but can activate so let's try to understand about this can activate routing guard. So I will try to show you a simple example for this one also. Let's understand this one. In Angular 18, route guards like can activate is used to control whether a route can be accessed. The can activate guard is particularly useful for scenarios where you want to restrict access to certain routes based on the conditions like authentication, user roles or permissions. The use cases for this act can activate so where we will be using this one so let's try to explain you so the use case sir the first one is the authentication prevent the users from accessing routes example dashboard admin panel without being logged in and also another one is the authorization restrict access based on the rules example only admins can access certain pages and data validity ensures that specific data is loaded or valid before accessing a route example a settings page that requires fetching user data first so these are the different use cases where we will be using this can activate. So now I will try to give you a simple example. Let's walk through a full real time example in Angular 18 using standalone components where we create a can activate guard to protect a dashboard route that should only be accessible if the user is authenticated. So that is the thing which, which we will try to understand. So for this one, what we will try to do it is first we will create a dashboard component. So here this is our example. So for this one, I will create a first component ngGC dashboard. So this is our first component which I want to add to exit. So this component represents a secured area dashboard that will be protected by our guard. <coughs> so now we are defining a standalone component dashboard with the standalone true option. So I will try to show you that option. Here the dashboard has been created. So let's open this dashboard.component.ts file. So in this one, we are trying, we are defining a standalone component, dashboard component with using standalone option, true. The component will render a head, heading and a welcome page. So now what I will try to do it is, so let's open this dashboard.html file. So in this dashboard.html file, what I will try to do it is, so here I will use something like h2, okay, dashboard page, dashboard, and I will use the paragraph, welcome, to the dashboard page okay so this is our welcome to the dashboard page so this is the thing so now what i want to do it is so here this will render a heading and a welcome message this the route to this component will later be protected by using a can activate so let's try to do it so first we not to implement this one so we need to create an authentication service for this one we need a service that is nothing but auth service so okay let's go to the services section so in our services, I am creating an auth service, so auth.service.ts file. So here you can have the auth service. So for this one, what I will try to do it is, so in this auth service, let's create 
the auth service i will minify this one yeah at the rate injectable injectable and here i will be provided in provided in of root okay export class auth service so i will be having a new class that is nothing but auth service and in this auth service let's say that i will be having a private logged in is equal to false so at that first time it will be a false simulating the so we are just simulating the authentication service state state so we will be having something like is logged in so if the user is logged in or not we will try to have and here i will try to return return this dot logged in okay that's it and here we will be having a login method so what i will try to do whenever the user tries this is login i will try to make it as an logged in is equal to true so when the user wants to log out i will mimic in a such a way that log out and i will try to make it as in this dot logged in is equal to false so this is the thing simulating a login and a logout now here what i am trying to do so this is our auth service and your service is provided at the root level so here so it can be injected anywhere in the app is logged in so we are having an is logged in checks if the user is logged in returns a boolean and we are having a login and logout function which simulates the login and logout actions by toggling the logged in state so that's it so now we need to create an can activate auth guard so let's try to create an auth guard so here in the services only just i will try to create for you auth guard dot ts file so this is our auth guard so now for this one so what i will try to do so here we will be having so auth guard export so this one how you need to create is export constant can I auth guard so you can have an auth guard okay it is of type can activate function so you need to provide can activate function okay so this is the thing and here you will be having something like this one so that's it so now here you will be able to see can activate function and here you can have something like this so now this is the method okay and here what you need to do so this one will uh, you need to return the value so here the void is not assignable so what it what it will try to return it will return something like it's a activated function and it will try to maybe is a sync god result so it will return a god result so fine so now let's try to so what i want to do so first i need to check whether the user is logged in or not for this one what i will do it is constant auth service i will try to inject the auth service so we know that the injection context will work in this one so i am trying to inject the auth service so i already showed you in our dependency injection that in the routing guards also this will work and here i will try to inject the router also inject of router so that the user can navigate from one place to another so if the condition is not met so now i can check if the auth service dot is logged in so if the user is logged in okay so now we will return the true that's it so if the, we will return the true and if the user is not logged in so that means if the user is not logged in, in the else case so if the user is not logged in then what i need to do so we need to navigate the user so here i can navigate the router dot navigate the user to login page okay slash login page so in order to ask the user to log in and you can return the false that's it so now block access to the room so here what we are trying to do we are we, we are using the new activate function in angular 18 instead of the class based can activate approach so we here we are using instead of the class based can activate approach we are using the action uh, function based approach in angular 18 inject of auth service provides an instance of auth service which we use to check the user's authentication status so inject of router we are trying to inject the router and it will allow us to navigate to the login page if the user is not authenticated and if the user is logged in okay the guard returns true allowing access to the root otherwise it redirects to the login and blocks the access to the by returning the false so now what we need to do so now we need to use this auth guard into our particular routing okay in our app.route.es we need to use it so for this one we need to set up the routes for login and logout and also the dashboard page also we need to set up so for this one login so for uh, sorry for login and dashboard page we need to set up so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll set up the routes and we'll try to use this can activate thing hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you